Alright, welcome to 5 Minutes in the Box. This is Barstool Fat Man for Barstool Sports. And tonight we're going to be talking about, of course, uh, the most five or five important NHL topics in and around the league. It is February the 20th. Um, topic one is going to be Eric Carlson. Uh, my buddy Cliffy pointed out the other day he hit 50 points again. I think that's the fifth or the sixth time for him already. Uh, he hasn't had a very long career yet. Carlson reminds me of Mike Green when Green came in the league and tore it up. Loved watching him. He was so smooth, such a good skater, and had a really good shot. Um, remind me back to the days of Paul Coffey. He was unbelievably maybe the best skating defenseman that I ever saw. Uh, makes me wonder what it would have been like to see Bobby Orr and if was he that much ahead of Coffee even that he would have made me think he might be number one overall. I'm not sure. Would have liked to see though. Topic number two is um, Austin Martin's The Leafs. He's, my buddy said how many years is he going to score 50 goals not too long ago and I said none. I was thinking it's just so hard to score 50 anymore in the NHL. It only happens one to two times a year. And I thought Line maybe had a little better chance of hitting 50. I think uh, Matthews is going to turn into a hell of a player, but I just thought he was going to be more assist oriented, being a centerman. Uh, I might be wrong. Jeff Carter has always been a sniper from the center. He might, I would not say he's not going to hit 50 anymore ever. I think he maybe will get there one to two times. He's already got 28 so far. That's that's pretty good. I need to rethink that, I think. Uh, topic number three, Line A versus Matthews. It's happening tomorrow night. Um, big game, of course. Probably the best two rookies this year. Uh, arguments can be had for a couple others, Marner maybe, or one of the D-men, or maybe Murray and Nett if he finishes out the year strong. Um, people forget though, Murray's already won a cup, so he wins. Alright, next topic, number four is, um, it was a light day in the NHL on President's Day. And there was only two games. A holiday in the U.S. and much of Canada. And the NHL just put on two games because there was such a heavy NFL schedule that they didn't want to go head-to-head -head with it, I think, maybe. Or I'm not sure what the schedule might have been. Doesn't really look like the players are loving this bye week thing. A lot of injuries. And people coming off the bye week are stinking so far this year. I, I suspect that this is going to be looked at in the offseason and maybe won't be back. It doesn't sound like really anyone likes it. I don't know. Who it, I mean, I understand the idea was supposed to be so they got a week off, rest up, go see their family, do whatever they want to do for a week. Um, but they kind of do that already at the All-Star break, and uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be working out very well. All right, and the final topic of the night um, is going to be award-based. Um... I love the awards in the NHL, of course. It's actually one of the better awards. It's maybe the best awards show of any of the leagues. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any that really counter it. Uh, they always have it in Vegas. Great. They need to get a little more hockey theme guys sometimes, but it's been very good. Um, but why is there no Gordie Howe Award? Uh, Mario Lemieux Award, Gretzky Award, or trophies. Why are there no trophies for those people yet? They've been retired much long enough and absolutely should be on names of awards. Whether it's 
something that they have to come up with. I don't know. I have a few ideas. Um, I had most assists of the season going to the Gretzky Award, most points of the season, the Lemieux Award. Um, most demon points would go to Orr Award, and the best defensive demon, some old school player maybe, or even like a Scott Stevens Award. Um, unfortunately, the hitting aspect of Stevens' game is pretty much gone now. It's uh, Fnuf broke into the league, and he was being considered on par with. Uh, Crosby and Ovechkin when he was allowed to hit like Stevens and now he can't do that and he's still sticking around he's he's adapted but he could have been the next Stevens um, anyways that's it for the night that's the top five topics uh, thanks for tuning in sign up for the Barstool Pat McAfee show starting this week I believe it's already on iTunes thanks for tuning in we'll see you tomorrow night